I'm Marianne McClary with your 10 o'clock update on CBS13.com. A judge is expected to decide this afternoon whether to release some of the documents in the East Area Rapist case. At issue are about 70 pages, including warrants that the media hopes to see that could reveal what was taken from suspect Joseph D'Angelo's Citrus Heights home. D'Angelo's attorney is fighting the release, saying it could hurt his client's right to a fair trial. High winds are fueling a fire in Contra Costa County this morning. The Grant Fire is now 80% contained after flames burned about 500 acres there yesterday. Officials say as temperatures climb toward triple digits, we should expect to see more grass fires flare up. And Sacramento City leaders break ground today on a new science center. Crews will renovate a vacant 100-year-old PG&E power plant on the Sacramento River and transform it into the 22,000-square-foot powerhouse science center. Project organizers raised more than $50 million for it. The museum is scheduled to open in about two years. Check back with CBS13.com and watch the CBS 13 News at noon for the latest.